G'day everyone, Matt Elder of Family Bricks here, and today we're going to look at this LEGO Fortnite Battle Bus Microscale Mini Kit Mock. We'll look at the parts required, show a time-lapse speed build with commentary, some slight design modifications we've made, and then review the overall design in terms of displayability, value, and the all-important swooshability. Free PDF instructions for this Fortnite Battle Bus mock are available from Rebrickable.com and are by Mischief. They are pretty straightforward and easy to follow. This video is brought to you by McCatsum Holiday Homes in Margate and Broadstairs. Great for a week's holiday or a weekend escape, being just over an hour east of London, UK. Treat yourself to amazing sunsets, a Lego wall, or great food. Visit www.macatsim.com and mention this YouTube video and we'll look after you. This is an overview of the pieces going to be using. These ones here are for the main body of the bus. This is for the clips and hooks and things to support the balloon. And then these are for the actual balloon itself. Now in the supporting of the balloon, I've changed a few pieces and customized it. So I'm using these hooks here and not the one by one clips and which means some of these other pieces here uh, I've got a different mixture of three length bars and four length bars and then also to using one of these two length bars with a knot and I'll get into some of the variations in a little bit okay we're going to start off obviously with the base and we start putting on the one by one kits so that you can put on then the start of the little hooks which then attach the balloon build up the actual bus itself then we start building on the actual attaching mechanisms and those three those bars there are quite tight to actually get to fit it in there now building up the actual arms which then go across the balloon and with the balloon you've only got a very tight gripping space to actually get the two uh, little bars to connect in there so you just need to make sure you get that right and polish off with a few more little details and i think that's pretty much got it there so I'll quickly go over a couple of the slight little modifications which are made. One of the big ones being is this was originally in the instructions a three length bar, but in the light trans blue that bar is about three pounds fifty or about five dollars US, which just seemed a little bit crazy because it is a rare piece and a rare color. So I've changed it to this two length with the knot on there, which then means everything comes down by a length. So these were four length bars, which now become three length bars. In addition to that, just change the way that the design, the original design had them with these two uh, clips. So you've got the one by one facing sideways and then the one by one facing up. So it would sort of protrude it out a little bit more there and it just felt a little bit more busier, but that's, that's just a personal choice. And the other nice thing with this design is that it's relatively easy to change the top piece here because in the last week or so the actual color of the top here has changed from this blue to more of an orangey yellow so if you just take that off there i've got a yellow three by three dish here pop that on slide that back in there and there it is as it currently is in the game so overall i think it's a cool little build it you know captures most of the key details and being sort of little micro scale like this or mini kit however they want to call it it's only about 10 pounds or 15 dollars us in terms of parts so you don't have to spend a fortune and and you know it looks like what it's meant to and it does it quite well certainly you know there's a little bit of you know swooshability have little people jumping out the back you know it does with these little hooks and things here if you bump them you know they move a bit but that's just inherent in the nature of it so it's nice just as something a little small and just got it sitting on the desk as opposed to like a full-on mini fig scale one which you might do next if uh, there's enough people who comment on it so all around it's quite good and it doesn't use too many exotic parts so certainly i was able to build most of this just out of the parts collection which i already had and as i said making a few little slight tweaks and modifications so if you're into fortnite and you want something like this it's definitely worthwhile just having a bit of a, a play and trying to pull the pieces together to be able to build it thanks very much for watching and if you leave the word fortnite in the comments we'll know you've watched this far if you've enjoyed this video hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing to the channel a share also never goes astray if you'd like to check out our sonic the hedgehog fan mock versus the official lego set click the video here alternatively here are a couple of videos the kids shot and edited of themselves playing fortnite otherwise this video might be of interest that's it from us here at family bricks thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video